Well, I think I figured out the buckles. They seem to be holding. So, for one thing, they're squared on there this time. You know, any kind of tilt on this, according to Shug, will make it will make it slip. So basically, it was uh, over, looped around the ring, and then back through, so it hangs down like this. And I kind of already put some pressure on it, and it is holding. So I haven't crawled in the hammock yet, but. And then same thing on the other side. So. See? There we go. I think it maybe needs to be a little bit more level. Well, I'm sure I can tweak it as I go. Okay, so the other day, uh, basically when I got when I returned home from my first hammock hang, I uh, immediately messaged the gentleman who made my hammock, and we talked about an underquilt. So here she is. It's a little bulky, but it's uh, I believe you said it was 55 degree rated. Not entirely. I don't remember now. I have to look, or I'll put it on the screen. Now I've never used an underquilt before, so this will be my first time. Also the first time hanging it. So throw that over for now. As you guys can see. I'm not even going to waste time with the wool blanket. I brought out the Mormont bag again. I'm basically going to use it like a, a top quilt and hopefully the, um, the under quilt will come up around me barely in my head and I'm going to stick my feet right in the toe box. So hopefully that will be warm enough. So, get my ground tarp. It'll give me something to step on. Give me something to step on when I uh, kick off my shoes, I'll still have a place to put my feet. So, well I think I'm set up for the night. <clears throat> so I to use the uh, cloud burst uh, side features, which I don't usually, usually use a lot, so. You know, it gives you a lot of room inside. It really opens it up. I didn't have to, I just kind of wanted to. So. I normally would run, what I did last time, and I didn't do it this time, but I, I ran the uh, line, the cord through here, and then down the loop, there should be a loop, oh yeah, there's a loop on the underside, and uh, well, I guess I couldn't do that then, 
Well, anyway, what I did is I ran it through here, and then when I had it flipped upside down, I ran it through this this loop here, and then it seemed to hang a lot straighter. So I might just tie a ridge line on here, and instead of going the whole ridge line all the way across, I might just go a line here to the tree. So I got my ridge line here, and then I got a secondary line here, just kind of pull this tight. It may be a bit excessive, but it's not like it's killing anybody. <clears throat> then I just tied these off, went around the tree, looped it. Decided to swap out all the uh, corner end with this uh, Kelty reflective line. Uh, so it'll be all, all four, so it'll be consistent. Versus I had like two corners with uh, paracord and two corners with bank line. So now it's all just one one straight cordage so <clears throat> then the hammock I'm a little, a little concerned that the, the under quilt might be too wide but I guess I'll find out when I crawl in which I haven't done yet I'm still gonna do a knot on here just to uh, as a um, you know what these aren't even square that could be a problem I'll have to tighten that up these are supposed to be square, and these are supposed to be square. You see how that's not really... I guess it is for the most part, but... It's probably from the previous hang, and I didn't clean it up, and I should have done that, so... I got staked out with a tent stake. <clears throat> Corner here. Running this one here, and I just have paracord going up and around the tree, and then back down over here I can feel some wind hitting me too as you could probably see it so if there's I kind of wish there was a tie down here I could I could pull this down but yeah there isn't that's that's fine I guess guess I'll start thinking about firewood here soon I got a bunch of wood from home and also last outing so <clears throat> well, honestly, with what I have here for fuel, this should serve all night. But I want to get more, um, more of these, and then more of these, and then more tiny, tiny pieces. I gotta tie this off still. We had a little bit of rain yesterday this morning, so I want to make sure the firewood. I'd have something to cover the firewood with. I'll have to get all that tied down here in a bit. The wind keeps playing with it. So, this is camp tonight. It's actually really busy on this road today and there's a lot of cars showing up here. So, I'm hoping it dies down a little later. We have an outhouse right here. <clears throat> As you can see, there's Everybody's pulling in to use the, the facilities. Then we have people parked here because they t took their packs and then they, they went that way. So, you know, it can't be helped. The right the site I wanted was grabbed, so I just made do what we I could find. So, alright, check back in later.